To begin, select your station and double click hardware. You will need an internet connection to access the websites. Let's check out the CPU first. Right click the CPU and choose product support information. This FAQ talks about what information is entered in the diagnostics buffer of the CPU. Click the link. Related links are shown at the top of the page in addition to the present article. Close this web page. Let's check out support for this Digital Input 8, Digital Output 8 module. Right click on the DIDO module. Choose Product Support Information. The Product Information tab shows product description, version release, product lifecycle, and links to updates, FAQs, and manuals. Click the Entries tab. Here you can find certificates, FAQs, and manuals. Click the Technical CAX Data tab. This tab contains technical data about the module. Close the web page. For a final demonstration, let's right click on the ET200S station. Choose Product Support Information once again. Updates, downloads, FAQs, and manuals are available for this ET200S interface module. Let's download the operating system update. Scroll down the page. Here's a firmware version update to version 7.0.5. Click the .exe file to download. Save the file. Choose a storage location and then click the Save button. Let's open the folder. Here is the ET200S interface module's firmware zip file. The actual execution of the firmware update to the module is shown in a separate video. This concludes finding support directly from the Hardware Configuration Editor.